And the governor is listening. He announced the state is immediately adding educators and licensed health care workers to the state's 1B1 phase for vaccinations. Thanks for joining us. I'm Joyce Taylor. I'm Greg Copeland. The state health department will soon have information on how educators can get those vaccines. Now, this comes as negotiations in Seattle hit a bit of a snag and rent and teachers raise some safety concerns about getting back into the classroom. Here's King 5 Sebastian Robertson. The one thing that all sides agree on is that students need to return to the classroom. What they disagree on, though, is timing. Today, the union that represents teachers in Renton says they need more time before it's safe. The Renton Education Association speaking out today on their decision to not return to the classroom. Union leadership says they still need the district to finalize details. They say there's a lack of standardization of rules across the district and say there's still gray areas in many cases. Throughout this process, across many districts, unions have been criticized for dragging their feet. Are teachers willing to accept any level of risk uh, when returning to school? And is that what this is about? Do you want zero risk of transmission in order to reopen? Absolutely not. Our teachers are brave and courageous, and they are prepared to return in person to teach. What they are opposed to is returning when the district has not met the safety protocols that are in place by LNI and the Department of Health. Meanwhile, Governor Inslee remains on a PR push to reopen schools. Just today, he toured Phantom Lake Elementary School in Bellevue, calling it heartening to see in-person learning being done safely. Renton does plan to resume in-person learning for kindergartners as scheduled. They'll be doing it, though, with substitute teachers. In Seattle, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.